hello friends welcome to csop page today in this video session uh, we will discuss about how to upload a files in asp.net core mvc so let's start we open our visual studio and create here asp.net mvc asp.net uh, core mvc web project so i create a new project Now here we choose a sp.net core web application and then uh, rename here any name it's a like a file upload core now click on ok now this uh, creating a project for a, a file upload in sp.net core mvc uh, in in next pop-up window uh, this will give the option for uh, choosing the templates like uh, MVC web forms or empty so here we choose a web application model view controller and then select this web application model view controller and then click on ok button now this is creating a project of uh, sp.net core with MVC pattern Now project has been created so we go to our solution explorer and here uh, it's already created a home controller and some uh, sample views like about contacts and index so uh, we open this home controller.cs it's opening this home controller.cs here uh, we need to create a uh, one more action result method for uh, uploading uh, files so here i created a, a file upload action result method and also added a view for this it's i action result it's file upload and we need to also create one post method for this and we decorated this as a http post and this post method is uh, as a async async task because he uh, here we use async await uh, methods for uh, uh, waiting the response till uh, until uh, files has been uploaded on our server so here uh, we need to use uh, async and await methods so i take this return type as a task action result and we need to create one more method uh, where we upload a files on a, on a server here we write a return as a view and this also copied here because their return type is as a action results so it's as a View. and here we take uh, uh, some parameters is like a i from file i from file we need to add uh, uh, some more namespaces for accessing a file from a server So here I added a uh, this uh, using Microsoft SPNet Core dot HTTP 
and this and uh, taking a object name for this this as a file now i create a method for uploading a file upload file on server so firstly we need to create one more folder into our solution explorer so here i added a one more folder uh, like upload now we uh, rename this folder as uh, upload now uh, next step uh, we need to create a one method uh, for uploading a file on a server so it's a public async task and we take this as a pull type and I name it as a upload upload file and we take a parameters like a from file is the interface now I take one param one variable it's a blank and then take a try catch if file dot length is greater than zero means this container file then string file name is equal to uh, GUID we rename their name as a global unique identifier plus path we need we need to add a one more name species for accessing this uh, path it's a system dot io dot get extension uh, we need to get uh, their file extension dot file name path is equal to path dot get full path it's a path dot combine directory dot get current directory and then here we uh, write the name of the folder it's uh, upload Then here writing a uh, using so where file stream you take a uh, variable type as where it's a new file stream path dot combine combine a path and their file name and we need to choose their mode uh, it's mode as a file mode dot create here we use a wait a wait file uh, dot copy to async and here we pass a file stream and if it's successfully completed then uh, we need to one more variable here like is copied 
uh, it's a first by default it's a false and then is copied is equal to true if there is a exception occurred or something's problem then it's also its file length is zero then this is copied is also false and if there is any ex ex exception then this throwing the error now we return this uh, bool type variable is copied now uh, we return back to our post method and here we use await upload file and pass this variable i from file this uh, represents a file sent with http request it's uh, uh, it's like uh, something as a http uh, file posted base that we used in sp.net mbc so now uh, we write some tem data here it's a uh, tem data and we write here any messages that uh, file uploaded successfully now uh, we need to add a one more view inside this uh, view folder uh, this uh, exit result method is inside a home controller so we need to add a one more view to this uh, home method home folder here i adding a one more views and name as a name same as our uh, file upload method it's a file upload then click on add now this uh, adding a view uh, for this file upload action method and this is the file upload dot css html now uh, here we need to create a one form and this method method as a post and here we take a encrypt multi part form data and this is p controller as our sp controller is home and spxn name is our spxn name is as a file upload now we taking on div and take a class as a form group and here we take a class for um, proper formatting like we take a col md 10 
let's see here upload upload file and take one input type and type as a file and provide a meaningful name like a file and we need to take uh, one more tube for uh, their buttons it's form group input type is equal to submit and provide the value it's a uh, upload files and we need to show their time data values in subform group take as a span and this is the time data it's uh, msc uh, this time data is a uh, name i this this msc now uh, we need to run this application uh, this is all their uh, view part and this is the uh, ixn result method for uh, their views and this for their post methods and this method we need to uh, copy the file stream uh, from user's input to the uh, server directory so now uh, i press a control f5 to run this application now we will succeed it and it's running the application by default it's a uh, uh, this application calling the home index because by default uh, view is as a home slash index so we need to run this uh, file upload this action method we need to open so home file upload now uh, we opening the file upload views here we need to choose the files we take any files like an image I upload some sample images here now click on a upload file the file uploaded successfully so we need to check uh, our uploaded directories this uh, file has been uploaded on a server directory this so so this is all the process how to upload a file in esp.net core mvc so if you have any questions any queries please write it in the comment box i will reply you soon and if you like my videos please click on the subscribe button and for latest updates please click on a notification bell uh, we will meet in next video session thanks